Hi there, my name's Aaron Short and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'll be talking about the Line 6 Helix family of products. The ones that I use, the ones that are available. I've actually got my hands on four of them right now. I own three of them and I'll tell you which ones I've selected to use based on my usage. A little bit of background with the, the Helix stuff. When it first came out, there was only the Helix floor. And um, it, it was really, people liked it because, you know, Line 6 in the past had the spider amps and things. People didn't really like that. But the Helix came out and it's quite a revelation with the interface. I won't go into too much of that because there's lots of videos on reviews on how it all works. But you might want to hear my experience about an opinion about which one I would purchase um, as a first time buyer. So that came out and everyone loved it. And since then they've added a lot of firmware, a lot of amps. In fact, there's a big firmware release around the corner where they're adding even more features. So it's a great time to be buying one. This is not a sponsored video, but I do think it's a great product and I wanna help you choose the one to buy. So that came out first. Then there was the Helix uh, rack unit. If you want a rack version, you can get that, otherwise identical. Then there was the Helix LT, which is essentially a stripped down version of the Helix floor for um, about a third less of the price, which might, you know, if you're looking at the, the price and don't need those extra features, that's a great option. Then there was Helix Native, which is a plug-in for your computer, your, your door for your computer. I love that, I use it all the time. But obviously it's not so easy to perform with and you still need a foot controller. Then there was the HX Effect. You can see what they did here. They, they kind of made one thing and then they just like grew it into a whole family here for, for different needs and requirements. The HX Effect is just the effects of the Helix with no amp modeling. And then the stomp is basically half a helix with amp modeling and effects, but less buttons, so more portable. So let's go through the three that I have here right now, the three hardware versions, the pedals. I'm not gonna talk about native, although um, I do use it a lot. And when you buy one of the hardware pedals, you get a discount price for native, and I do encourage you to buy it, because it's, it's a great tool to have if you record in any way at all, or if you want something in your computer just to plug in and play and practice with at times. Let's start with the newest member of the family. This is the HX Stomp. So this is mine. I bought this because I want something small that I can travel with. I used it for a gig at NAMM in January. Not this one, but um, I did use a stomp for that gig. I use this and a two button foot switch. Mission Engineering make the TT2. Plugs in, doesn't need power, gives you five switches. For someone like me that doesn't use a lot of effects and different things or for acoustic, it's really awesome. Um, one thing to note, it does have a pr proprietary power brick on this one, which adds uh, quite a substantial size power brick to this. But there are other ways to power it as well. Again, Mission have something coming out to use a battery, which is cool. Um, and also um, the power bricks you get on pedal boards can power it, but make sure you get the right one. Check with the manufacturer. But let's look at the interface. We've got uh, uh, left and right input, left and right output. They are um, balanced, so you can use a, uh, a balanced cable out or an unbalanced cable out. Your external foot switch I mentioned, you can use a, a, con a controller style pedal for a volume or a wah. Really versatile, but obviously, the plus of it is it's so portable and powerful for the size. The downside is there's only three buttons. So you can't really run a whole huge rig from this. There's six blocks and three buttons and two more with the extension switch. Or you could use a MIDI controller pedal to add even more like the Morningstar MC6 is great, but then that will then need powering as well. At that point, why not buy a Helix, in my opinion, right? But if you're gonna be flying or adding this to an existing pedal board where you just wanna use some effects or the amp modeling with your pedal board, this is the one to get for sure. This is really awesome. And like I said, I would love it for acoustic. For acoustic, I don't want a big pedal board with me. So I'd have this for my acoustic gig or I'd have this for a band rehearsal, flying somewhere or maybe um, a small gig where I don't need that many effects. I figured that I could run one of my gigs off this because I don't use many effects. So if size matters, get the HX stump. All right, let's move on to the next one. Feeling about just a bit more than twice the size and twice as heavy, this is the HX effects. Now this isn't mine, this is a, belongs to a friend of mine, but I wanted to borrow it and show it to you um, just as the comparison. So look, straight away you'll notice we get the wonderful scribble strips on this. So you can label each effect with what it does. You can't do that on the, on the stomp. You have a lot more foot switches. 
you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, dedicated tap, tuner button, and the mode button. So you've got the eight switches here. That's a lot more useful. So this really is like a mini pedal board. What does it not have? Well, it doesn't have amps. It has IR loading, but no amps. So you cannot plug this into the PA. If you do, it will sound terrible. This has to go into an amp. This is a, basically a replacement for your pedal board. It has that same power supply I mentioned before on the stomp. Um, pretty much the same inputs and outputs. Has a few more. Pretty much the same, just, just bigger. More, more blocks in this one than the stomp. Um, and more switches. So this will be a replacement for your pedal board. So who would I suggest this to? Well, if you own an awesome amp that you cannot live without and you don't care about modeling, this is a great one to get. But do be careful because if you want that modeling or to go direct in the future, you won't have it. So this really is for the, for you, for the people that are sure they just want effects. This is the one to get. It's also the same price as the stump. This is a lot heavier. I can barely hold it up. <laughs> but what do you get here? You get a dedicated expression pedal, a huge screen, twice the power of the stump, all those glorious foot switches and scribble strips, more inputs and outputs, XLR, um, digital in and out, and Variax support. If you play a Variax, this is the one that you need, or the, L the LT, because you can plug your Variax into it. So, Who's this for? This is this is for someone that wants amps and modeling, of course, right? Um, and more power, more blocks. Now people will say you don't need all these blocks or foot switches. You know, you can you can cut back, and it's good to cut back. And yes, it is. It's also frustrating when you run out of blocks and you wish you had more. Also, with this, there's a mic input, so you could plug a mic and a guitar in, or or two guitars in, and share it between two people. In my opinion, this is the one. To get and at the end of the day if you're gonna buy a stomp or an or an hx specs and add stuff to it and end up adding 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 maybe it's better just to get this one unless there's some effects that you really need that are not covered by the unit um, for me rather than like having one of each thing i think i could get by with this it is really big and heavy so i that's why i have this and the stomp the stomp can be for traveling flying around and this can be for taking to a band gig, plug it straight into the PA, have an awesome patch on there, fill it up. I won't go into the features of the Helix. Hopefully you've looked that up already with snapshots and you know all these modelers now saying great, but the, the way this is thought out and, and, and works is really awesome. I'm the kind of person that likes to add EQ blocks and things to shape sound down the line. That's why, again, I need the extra blocks that are in this one. So this is the Helix floor. If you, if you don't care about the scribble strips, or some of the stuff in here and you want to um, save some money, you can get the LT, which I don't have here. But for me, everyone's kind of, right now at the time of this video, everyone's really into the stomp. It's the newest member of the family and everyone's loving it. And it is really portable and I love mine. But don't look, overlook the full helix. This thing is powerful and has everything you would ever need. And it's not too heavy. Look, I can put it on my shoulder, just kidding. All right, so if you like the video and want to see more about these things, please subscribe to my channel. I've got some tips on how to use them as well. Um, if you bought one, let me know in the comments which one you, you purchased. And until next time, stay tuned. See you next time. Bye-bye.